Tonight, we talk to one of the jurors in the murder trial of Special Agent Christopher Didi. KITV4's Laura Yamada joining us now to share his story. Laura. Well, Paula, imagine a dozen people with different backgrounds and opinions forced to decide one man's future in a highly charged case. We spoke with one juror who opened the door to the challenges, the conflicts, and the critical points that ultimately led to a hung jury. He did kill him. You know, I mean, that's, that's not a question. Juror and foreman Justin Odegiri says even though jurors watched the same video over and over, some saw it differently. Evidence and testimony left plenty of room for debate, he says, and for major sticking points. Never. There was no audio from the video, so it's all what people say, and everyone says something different. At the forefront was Special Agent Christopher Didi drunk the night he shot and killed Colin Elders. And the hard part was, you know, there was no test. You know, so it's all about what people said. It came down to what the people thought and how, and, you know, us, how we viewed the video. And after the fight started, was deadly force really necessary? Odegiri says jurors struggled with what seemed to be minor injuries on Didi and his friend Adam Gutowski and how that would justify firing a gun. And that's the kind of hard part because, you know, the way the law is written, it doesn't say, you know, like, if you receive this, you can use the force. You know, it's, it's perceived by the person who's getting attacked. They had two choices, convict Didi of murder or set him free. In the end, they couldn't do either. Eight to quit, four to convict, a deadlock. He says jurors didn't really spend time talking about whether lesser charges would have made a difference, and they weren't even an option. He's not even sure if it would have mattered. It kind of opens my eyes that, you know, if you do, if you do decide to use that deadly force, you, you need to be positive. Odegiri did say as a gun owner, this trial, the tragedy, the outcome will forever play on his mind. It's a very fine line on that, you know, that self-defense, especially when you're going to be using that deadly force. So, I mean, that, I think that might stick out the most to me, you know, how, how it can go either way almost. Odegiri actually wanted to apologize to the public, to the families, for not reaching a verdict, even though I'm sure most people would easily forgive them. He says, despite coming home exhausted every day, he was grateful for the experience and the chance to work with a team of dedicated, intelligent people. Back to you guys. All right.